Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and today we have a nice orange box. And as you can see on the picture, and as you can see right here, this is the Halloween Twilight Night from Kingdom Death. Now, this here in front of us is the original resin one, and it's very delicate, and I'm always afraid I'm going to break it, but I really do like it, and I feel like I did a decent job, considering this was when the original one released, which was probably quite a few years ago. So I figure, what the hey? I'm going to give her another try, and I'm just kind of curious to see what the plastic version is like as well. I like plastic Kingdom Death models. That is no lie. All right. Whoa. Stuff. Okay. The usual postcard, which I don't remember if I got the postcard. I think it was only this one originally. I could be wrong. Another lantern, which I already have a jack-o'-lantern, so nice little bonus, I guess. And more importantly, the sprue itself. Let's take a look. Okay, so the usual base bottom. Well, first off, there are two lanterns. Maybe three. No, two. One is supposed to go under her arm, and I'm guessing that the other is going to be for a survivor. This is all one piece. I don't remember how the original one went together now. I have forgotten. Sword. Base topper. At least this is going to fit. I know I had to do a lot of cleaning to actually get mine in there. It did not want to go in. So I'll consider that a plus. Uh, let's see. Where is her shoulder pan? If that's a little bit more clearly defined. I guess so. This was kind of a pain. You can see there's like a little skull face. If I could zoom in, there you go. Maybe you can see it now. I don't think that's present on this one. And if it is, I just did such a terrible job. Uh, it's really shallow details there. Oh, well. Anyway, it doesn't look too complicated when it's in focus. So I'm going to go ahead and get her cut out. And I figure we'll see how she stacks up compared to the original and some of the other Halloween-ish models we've got laying around. All right, so here we have our plastic Halloween Twilight Night all put together. I'm not going to move her just yet because I don't have her completely glued, as you know, and I don't feel like messing with the blue tack right now, even though I have it and I don't want to hear about it. Um, we'll go over a couple things here. So first and foremost, she's a little bit larger, but not a whole lot than the original resin. I'm kind of bummed about that because a lot of the plastics, when they got made based on resins, there was a huge bump in size and quality. Not that there was anything wrong with the resin one in the first place, but I just was hoping for a little bit larger. So a couple of things here. Uh, there are those two pumpkin lanterns. Now, this one is the one that is for anybody. There's no little notches on it, whereas the one that she's currently holding, as I knock her over once more, not a big deal. You can see there's like these little ridges. That's so it slides up right against her dress there. Okay, right on her sides. It matches the contours of her body. A couple other things. There is a very, very teeny tiny contact point for the arm, both where it slots in, and there's a tiny little slot, and I can't even show you, in the cloak itself. Okay, after you attach the cloak to the chest, that's when you're going to slot the arm in. And there's such a tiny little contact point for this big, huge sword. So just like the resin model, I cheated and I just glued, I aimed it at her hip and glued it there. So there's a little bit more stability that way. I'm not going to bother gluing her to the base yet. And I'm going to paint this separate this time because I knew what it was like having to do it the first time around. But I kept her arms wide enough so that actually she can still hold it and everything will work out okay. Worst case, we'll just put some extra glue there and she'll be good to go. We will temporarily put her back on her stand. Ba -bom. And let's grab a couple other Halloween style models. This is the generic anti-paladin, I believe. She was an older one. But then if you get into some of the newer plastics like our Halloween Satan, she's a quite a lot larger. And this is one of my favorite models anyway. So it wouldn't be a Halloween lineup either without... Some beefcake. Oh, yeah. Check out Mr. Sexy Time. 
But yeah, overall, she's going to fit in just as nicely with the plastics and resins if you're going to have them all over the tabletop. And I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. Who wants a bunch of half-naked, boring survivors all the time, right? Sorry, Satan. Get D behind me. And yeah. So if you're going to have them pop on the table as a survivor, they totally work. And if you didn't get her this Halloween, she'll be back next Halloween. Resin one, I don't know. I don't think she's coming back anytime soon. Probably just plastics from now on. So if you're curious about her, take a look on the website when uh, Halloween time rolls back around. Otherwise, just try not to get scalped too bad, guys. We don't want you overpaying for plastic. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. And see you later. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you'll come back here soon. Bye bye.